Pakistan Group is very much a, a portfolio of brands. Our portfolio has now increased to about 50 venues worldwide. My name is James Orgate. I'm the Executive Vice President of Entertainment at Hakkasan Group, and this is how I got here. If I was to describe myself growing up, I would certainly say I wasn't a model student. I was definitely, you know, into sports, into enjoying myself more than I was into doing schoolwork. I really didn't have any plans of what I wanted to do out of high school. Certainly knew that further education wasn't for me. One day I walked past a bar, a local bar, and had seen a job advertised for collecting glasses, and I was only 17 at the time. So I thought, well, I'll give it a, I'll give it a go. The job role progressed over time from, you know, serving drinks, collecting glasses cleaning the place to, you know, stop rotation and rostering all the staff on and then, you know, turned out to be over time to making sure that the business was profitable and really sort of every facet of running a business. A few years into that, I was only, you know, mid-twenties. One day we were flicking through a, a magazine, which is a trade magazine called Night, and there was a small little box out section advert for uh, a nightclub in Birmingham. This was the opportunity for me to like progress my career. So I sold my house, I sold my car, and, and basically put every penny that, that we had as a family into this new uh, venture, which was the nightclub in Birmingham. We opened the club in 1999. We didn't sell tickets because we wanted to create a buzz. The, the capacity of the club was 1,500 people. 20,000 people turned up for the opening of a, a small, you know, nightclub. And it was really from there that we understood at the time that the, the brand and the club and the marketing that had been done, we'd created a monster. The club then rolled for the next 10 years very, very successfully. But off the back of that, we span out a music festival. It was around 2011, 2012, and my partner at the time had sold his piece of the business to Live Nation. So it was at that time that I sold my shares um, to them as well. And I was really, you know, looking for what was next. My former partner had moved to the US and had built uh, or had started to to build Hackerson. And he said, why don't you come over and, and help run Hackerson over here? Vegas at the time was certainly moving towards electronic music. I had a, a good amount of relationships with electronic music artists, having booked them for you know the previous 15 years at clubs in Birmingham and the international festivals. It just felt like a perfect fit. The first role I had when I moved here was the Vice President of Music. So I oversaw all of the artist bookings and the programming for the venues. And then over time, I've gone from being the Vice President to a Senior Vice President and now Executive Vice President. Part of my job that I enjoy the most is definitely developing new concepts or developing new venues. This is also Las Vegas, so it's the entertainment capital of the world. Everybody wants to come here and have an amazing experience, and that's what we strive to do night in, night out, is create unforgettable moments where everybody leaves and says, oh my word, I was at Hagasan last night. That's really what keeps us coming back and striving to to create unbelievable production or keep booking the likes of Tiesto and Calvin Harris and Steve Aoki and Zed and Martin Garrix and all of these guys that we've been working with for so long now. I think one of the benefits that I have is that I've really done every job in, in a nightclub from cleaning out bathrooms when the cleaners didn't turn up to you know, collecting glasses, to serving drinks behind the bar, to even trying to work out and, and learn how to do the lighting when a lighting guy doesn't turn up one night. So I've sort of, you know, I've been there, done that, so to speak, which really is great for other people to now understand that, for staff that we have to don't think that, you know, I've, anything's beyond me. I'm always willing to, to muck in. I'm always willing to get my hands dirty. And that really gets you the knowledge of the industry and of the business. Nightlife is the epitome of working hard. You have to get your foot on the ladder and you have to take your opportunities. And I, I think that's my biggest piece of advice would be to anybody is, is take that opportunity. There isn't a college course that you can go and study at and say, I want to be in my position in 20 years time. How do I start that? It's impossible to even advise somebody how to do that and what college courses to take. You have to experience it. You have to have on the job training. 
You have to not be afraid to get your hands dirty and really strive for whatever that next step is.